done right. Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports here in beautiful British Columbia, Surrey to be exact, the outskirts of Vancouver, suburbia, with Cam Matwiv, goalie utopia. I've already, uh, much to Cam's chagrin, made my way around the store, put my hand in all the gloves. Well, there's too many to do all, but as many as to make myself annoying. And uh, speaking of annoying, we saw Cam come in wearing all three chest protectors because evidently he couldn't remember what we'd done already. You give this guy a week off and it just all goes to mud. We have finally gotten down to the new Brian's Optic 2 chest protector. That's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to turn it over to Cam, start walking me through the features. Um, I guess just, just overall where we start, profile, who it's for, what it's designed to be. Is this, is this designed to be a big blocking chest protector? Is this designed to be mobile? Are we in the best of both worlds here as it tries to do both? What, what, what's, the, what's the feedback? A lot to cover right there in particular, but yeah, so second generation uh, of the Optic. Um, kind of taking over for what was a very slim down and small chest in the original Optic. Really, you know, that was at that time where everyone was trying to figure out what the NHL rules are, what they would involve, how big could they be, what size should the shoulder floaters be, slash the arm floaters, things like that. So this is now a second crack at it. And what Brian's tells me is that this is apparently still legal at an NHL level and is worn as you see here in, um, in the NHL in particular. So um, a great uh, knock for the unit right off the bat, um, you know, pro ratification immediately. So we're already on the right track here. Well, and we have seen some guys, uh, you know, some, some big names with this chest protector hanging in the locker room in the National Hockey League. So uh, that checks out. Yes, yes, it does. So beyond them giving you your vote of approval, a um, couple of reasons why I really like this unit um, and what they've done to make it better for even from the last year's version is definitely the profile of the unit itself. One of the things I struggled with with the first optic was that it was very, very trim and slim. And, you know, yes, guys are going to be looking for that, trying to match up with the, uh, you know, NHL streamlined chest, but it was almost <laughs> too much. Not this guy, man. I want big. I want it to look big. And you can even see as you're, as you're sitting down that the shoulders have kind of puffed up and you're almost kind of rounded out a little bit more and a bit more of a box shape, especially up top. Um, and that's what they've really done to kind of uh, move the unit forward, I would say. Um, Let's be honest. I'm kind of rounded out naturally. Oh, hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> I was about to give you a compliment today. That, that why said, start now? Why start now? That said, so just for you, they've used their air knit material all the way throughout the chest to help make it lightweight. Okay, say that again slowly so I can hear it. Their what material? Air knit. Air knit material. Okay. That you see all over the front of the chest. So this brings down the weight of the overall chest as opposed to using just a straight nylon. Um, much more breathable too as well. And you can see it's sort of like a, it is like a, like a, like a knit material. It sort of covers all the blocking surfaces. Obviously, we're still doing the podcast as well as the video segment. So for those that can't see us, uh, it really does just look like almost like a knit material that you'd expect to find on the inside lining of a chest protector. Correct, but they have something different on the inside. That's their hex air on the inside, which we will show on the inside with this chest here. So Brian's has actually moved over and brought something from their. Um, uh, some of their older models of chests that they've kind of coined before. So X-Static makes its return, which is um, basically silver sewn into the fabric. In theory, bacteria can't grow on silver. Um, long story short, it does help to reduce the smell of the chest over an extended period of time. Um, so we have definitely something that you need. Uh, well, I have a Brian's chest, and my, you know, it still kind of smells a little we, bit, I'll be honest. We know why. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay speaking of stink i'll let you take over yes clearly uh one of my favorite features of the chest is the adjustable neckline in particular um the entire neck piece of the chest where the actual b star logo is uh on ours in particular um you can velcro this entire area out come on and move it up or down so to give you that bit more of a custom fit and also for guys that are, are looking for a bit of that higher color protection in particular um, an ability to really kind of set it up the way you'd like. So again, for those of us who are listening to the podcast and haven't had a chance to check out the video, basically it's like, it's a chest plate with a hex air on, on the inside and it's got Velcro on the front piece of the chest plate and neck protector that it attaches to the back of the chest unit and you can move it up and down to adjust where it sits in your neckline. I got to ask, does this make 
um, a neck guard almost a moot point. Like, can you adjust this and get comfortable with it to the point where you don't maybe necessarily need an extra neck guard? Personally, I, I would still double up. I mean, uh, I'm on the vote of protecting, especially your neckline, because it is something, you know, you only get one shot at this one. You probably wear a dangler too, don't uh, you? No. <laughs> Darren Millard is going to lecture you later. Okay, keep going. That said, um, again, just to really find that custom fit, um, some guys really struggle with where it will sit with, um, you know, a chest protector in terms of the neckline and the mask integration in particular. And this really helps you dial it in right off the bat. Um, so I, I, again, nice feature, um, something added, but not our only removable Velcro piece on the chest. Um, moving into the inside of the body, we have two, we'll call it rib pillows, uh, for lack of a better term, um, thick pieces of foam that will puff out the chest a little bit more, especially in terms of a presence and help center it on you. Personally, as someone that tucks in their chest protector, I would take them out. So I get a bit of a tighter fit around the body, which is would be what I'm looking for. But if you're looking to have it flare out a little bit more, um, a certain goalie um, in the NHL uh, Stanley Cup playoffs really had it evident that they would flare out their chest protector nice and wide. Um, I'll take a guess who that was. Um, this will give you that presence uh, and that same thing if you leave them in. Okay, so these are Velcro pillows that attach to the sides of the chest protector, sort of not so much around, I guess it could go all the way up to your ribs, but more around the side of the belly. Yeah, close along the ribs. Uh, yeah, it's where it, where it should uh, sit where it's uh, sitting properly on your, on your chest. <laughs> we'll bleep that one out. Um, <laughs> and extra layer of protection as well. Obviously, we talk about profile and presentation and how it fits big, but um, it would add a layer of protection having that extra foam in there as well. Yes, correct. And, and probably shot absorption as well. So, continuing on with the back style of the chest, um, Ryan's has integrated their smart strap system just in terms of for adjustment. For your body piece so no buckles here all the only buckle you have is on the alligator clip on the back which good luck trying to break that um this will allow you to again quickly adjust the chest protector set it up to what you need um back plate large back plate with a hard block of foam right along your spine too as well again another nice feature some things do happen sticks anything like that it's nice to have a little hard piece there just to give you that extra uh, layer of protection, especially on your back in particular. Well, I mean, for me, my defense, when they get frustrated with the crappy goals I give up, that like they're likely to whack me over the back of the neck. That's a nice piece of protection. Just to make sure. Shoulder floaters, we get up uh, on the back side, adjustable through Velcro. We'll switch it to the front so we can take a bit of a better look here. A lot of things are Velcro on the chest, leaving us with, again, supreme adjustability. Um, there's that shoulder float over adjustment we were looking for. Back adjustment to raise the chest. This entire piece comes basically separated out. So you, again, you can really dial in the fit that you're looking for. Moving on to the arms. Same concept that uh, Brian's has been using actually for a number of years on their chest protectors. Again, with the Velcro arms. Ease of adjustment, especially in store, but also for you when you get the unit home to really dial in the fit that you're looking for and the integration between your arms and your gloves. So in terms of arm length, you can actually change the length of this in terms of how it fits. Yes. In. Yeah. I think we measured it about almost two and a half to three inches of leeway room uh, up or down, basically, depending on where you need to be in the chest. And I'm assuming you having been to a restaurant and seen the bill come up with those little alligator arms of you, you've got yours cranked all the way up, right? T-Rex arms. Figured that out. All right. The Brian's Optic 2 chest protector. What's been the feedback so far from your customers? We haven't had a chance ourselves to do testing on this. But what are you hearing back? Obviously, you're wearing the you're wearing a Brian's chest protector. What do you hear back about this one in particular? Yeah, it's a very good advancement and throughout their lineup. Good profile, good size, excellent protection. Um, you'll feel kind of immediately the arms are a little bit stiffer than some of the other things that we have on the wall. Yeah, but I, my, I can get a coffee here this morning. You but get it's a little bit of you work. You get close. Yeah, you know what? This is one of those things where it pays off in the long run. Um, this chest protector is going to last you a very long time. It's built with quality, hand-built in Canada by the guys over at Brian's there. We, we haven't talked about it with the other models, but that's kind of, it speaks to, sometimes we get in the store and it can be a little stiffer. I think the CCM Premier, I used to, people used to have that feedback. It's, you know, it's blocky, but uh, it broke in really quick. What's, yes. what's the, because I, I do think we need to start looking at almost like a sliding scale of break-in for different chest protectors. It's not like they're going too stiff. This one is a little stiff in the arms right now. It's not going to stay that way. What's the, is there a process you can share? Is there a way to get your chest protector broken in fast? What's the timeline on, on this unit? Not unlike what we're doing right now, sitting wearing it around the house, on the couch in particular. Uh, wearing it, playing video games, watching TV, you know, cook your dinner in it if you really want to. Uh, just all that movement, 
will start to break in the chest in particular. So like cooking dinner, steam vegetables, let that steam come and help. And you heard it here. Steam your chest protector. All right. Okay. Cam, um, thanks for doing this. Thanks for walking us through the optic two chest protector. Uh, took us a little while to get you in the right one. Had to shed a few layers. Um, but I was just happy we got you through the door. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. M remember folks, hockey shop, hockey shop.com. Check them out. Uh, if you got any questions for, for cam about fit, uh, but what size on this unit, ordering one online, they can take care of you. They want to get a hold and ask you directly in person, where can they get you? 604-589-8299. Do you know the international number, the 1-800 off by heart? 1-800-something-something-something-something. Check out it on our website at www.thehockeyshop.com.